top must come down. Spinning wheel. As they said, what goes up must come down, and that's what we're going to be analyzing um, with this project. So, the idea is that at this point, you've recorded two videos. Two videos of the same object being launched in different ways. Those two videos should be in your Google Drive, on email, somewhere along those lines, so that you could access it on the laptop. Now you want to save those files on either your desktop, or in your H drive, some way that we can access them using um, Logger Pro. So save your files in, those way, in that way or wherever you want to put it. Now you're going to open up Logger Pro from the laptop and from whatever, whatever desktop you're using. And you're going to go over and once you open it up, I'd say the first thing you do is just go to save as and go to your H drive. And I can't do that here on my computer, but go H colon and you're just looking at your colon, H colon, hit enter, your name should pop up, and you're going to want to save it as something like video analysis video or number one or something like that, video analysis number one. Save it wherever you want to save it, and um, and then you'll, you'll have access to it if you need it again. So now you're in, in Logger Pro, and you want to now insert the video that you have recorded. So go insert, go down to movie. So insert movie. And now you want to find the, the video that you were working with. Find it, click on it, double click on it, click insert. Open. And if you want to make it bigger, you can. Now if you click on play, you'll see that you can watch the video. So what we want to do is we want to be able to move the video and watch the video just, just the part where it's in the air. So we'll move it, we can drag it back and forth, we can do our... Um, click forward, backward to go slide by slide. And you want to find the point where the ball just before, just, I'm sorry, just after it leaves his foot or whatever object that is launching it. So just the time it's in, only in the air. So just after it leaves his foot. And we're going to be going and analyzing the motion to just before um, the other student catches the ball. So those that's the only time you want to click on this. So we're at that point. And now you want to go over to the lower right-hand corner with the three dots and an arrow. That'll allow you to have all these tools. These tools are gonna to be used to be able to find um, the information, find the graphs, develop the, um, the kind of information we need to be able to find the acceleration. So this is the video analysis um, tool area. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, is click on the ruler, which is set scale. So this little ruler up here, set scale, click on it. And now you wanna to go to the thing, the item, that you know the height of. So I know the height of the student. So I'm going to click and drag over his the length of him on the video. So click and drag, and it's going to pop up. And see how it's in meters? I want to keep it in meters. So if you need to convert, you can. So he is um, five foot six. So it would be about one point six meters or so, one point seven meters. Click OK, and now the computer knows that that length is one point six meters. Now, you can also tell that the, the video isn't quite, it's not quite straight. Like the camera was kind of tilted a little bit. So the way we can fix that is by going over here, see this little crosshair in the upper right-hand corner with a little red dot. Click on that. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, my bad, my bad. Click on this one over here, set origin. So click on this one, set origin. Um, click down here, and you're going to want to click at the location where the ball is. So where you first start. So now we've identified the origin. And the other thing we want to do is click on this little yellow dot and we want to adjust it so that it's level. And you can see it's a little bit tricky, but see if you can get it level. For, for me, I'm going to just use the bleachers. Get it level so that it doesn't matter if the video is kind of tilted a little bit. We want to get it straight and straighten it out. So this is the X axis and then this is the Y axis, so the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. Now we want to go up here. And we want to click on this little red red dot with a crosshair. This is the add point. So we want to click on that. And now um, we want to find a location on the ball that we're always going to click on. And for me, I'm going to take it as the bottom of the ball. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the ball and end this slide. And I'm just going to click it once. And you'll see that it automatically advances to the next slide. And then you just keep clicking. And once again, it's really important that you click at the same location each time.
And you'll see that as you keep on going, it sometimes can be a little hard to find, but it's important that you click on the same location that you're very careful about that, because that's gonna really influence your data. So bottom of the ball, I keep clicking. And as I'm doing this, you can see in the background how the graphs are being formed. So on the back side of the ball still. Keep clicking and clicking. And you'll see this is a little bit time consuming, but the, the time, the effort um, to go and have good clicking and good data is going to be important. So make sure you do that. And you want to keep clicking and clicking and clicking until just when, a, just before, it hits an object, hits the ground, or it's caught. So for me, this is, I think, my last click. Yep, and then she catches it, so no more clicks. Now it's also really important that you go up here to the upper right-hand corner, there's a little arrow, select point. Click on that so that now when I click on the actual screen, it no longer will make more dots. So that's another important point. So you can see that we've now made our arc, we've made our, our path, and that's what we're going to analyze here. So now I go over here, and you can actually see too that, see how it's pretty much starting and ending at about the same location. So that would be a full trip. Now we take our arrow, our little, um, little cursor, and which turns into a hand, and click on the graph in the back. And you'll see you have graph from blue and red. The blue is representing vertical, the vertical position, and the X is representing um, the horizontal. And in this case, horizontal position. So let me kind of walk through that. Now, um, we're going to want to take screenshots or, or take your iPad and take a picture of this. Um, not for this graph, but for the other graph. So over here in, on the y-axis, click on the y-axis, and you'll see you have a bunch of options here to figure out which variables are going to be on your y-axis. So if you click up here, this is going to be x. x represents horizontal position. y represents vertical position. The x velocity represents the horizontal velocity. The y represents your vertical velocity. So you're going to click on each one, and you'll see that this is now horizontal position versus time. You want to take a picture of this. Then you're going to do the same thing for y. You're going to flip over to the y, and you're going to take a picture of that for your, for your, for, for your actual video. Do the same thing for the x velocity. And you'll see over here that um, sometimes it's helpful if you make sure that you have a zero point on here. So see how this is like negative 2.3, negative 1, negative 1 1.9. For this one, I'd recommend that you get this up and that you actually put this in as a up to zero. So you can kind of put some, get some perspective on this. So now you can know that it's um, what, what the line kind of looks like here, what, this, what this, in, this data looks like. Just kind of zooming it out a little bit. And like I said, having it relative to that origin is important. Do the same thing now for the velocity vertical which is that y velocity, so vertical velocity. And you'll see it, right now it still looks a little weird too. So if you go over here and you click on auto scale, that helps too. So now you have this, the actual all the data on there. So make sure you're looking at all the data. So you click on that auto scale. And this is what you're going to take a picture of also for the, the fourth graph. Now another suggestion here too, and just a helpful hint here, if you click and drag over this data for the vertical velocity, and you go over to the linear fit, which is for you guys, it'll say R equals. It'll say linear fit R equals. This data is going to be important for you to be able to find the vertical velocity. If you find the slope and use the slope of your, of your graph if you, for the vertical velocity, that slope is going to give you your acceleration in the vertical direction, which it does ask for in your write-up. So make sure you do that also. Then, uh, like I said, once you're done, make sure to save it. And do the same thing again for video too. And you'll be doing all this analysis, looking at these graphs, and writing up your paragraphs to summarize this um, within your um, file, within the file that I have sent to you guys. One per group, and it should be pretty cool. So um, the idea is comparing this motion and using this software to help you analyze um, how things move in a projectile situation. So let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, have fun, and have a great day.